All right, what is going on guys? So, back out on the e-rider. Third time I've been on this now. Uh, last time I was on it, it was like six weeks ago, maybe even more. Uh, weather's been really bad, but got a nice warm day. The ice has melted, the water's still like very cold, but just bombed up this drain like as far as I can. It took me like two hours, <laughs> but yeah, long, long haul up here, but we've got about four hours to fish back down now. So hopefully, get some fish. I had one fish coming up and missed two hits as well. Uh, but I was sort of power fishing while I was traveling. So yeah, I've had a fish already. Hopefully get quite a few more. I've not had a decent numbers day for a while. So yeah, we've got a few layers with us today, but the water's very low and it's still got tons of weed in it. So we're going to be starting with the goby on the weedless setup again. Um, deeper areas, we'll switch to different baits, bigger baits. I'm going to try to pull out a better fish today as well. But yeah, we're just going to have a nice session on the e-rider try to get some fish on the kayak so yeah hopefully get some decent decent fish caught a decent amount of fish caught and uh yeah a good video for the change so yeah i'm gonna get to it because i'm excited <laughs> Pretty happy with water clarity though. I mean, it looks like dirt, but you can see through it quite a bit, to be fair. So there's at least 12 inches of visibility, which for this place is pretty damn good. This time here, anyway. June clearing something like that. I know it looks like I'm fishing super fast as well, but I'm traveling towards my lure, so I've got to make up for that on the boat. I'm going to be fishing like this fast if I stationary. Yep, there we go. Oh, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off. Ooh. Absolutely crushed it and I've drifted right over where it was. Couldn't get a proper hook set on it with me uh, traveling towards it. There we go, first hit then. I've never had a hit down this reed bed, so yeah, it was sweet to get. I know we'll get some feeding, that was an aggressive hit that as well. But yeah, I was absolutely bomb bombing towards it, so I didn't get a good hook set at all. And I've only got a single weedless hook on, so. That's promising then. Yes. First hit. We're gonna catch fish today, boys. I just switched back to the goby. That feels heavy. That feels heavy. Just switch back. I can't see it. Oh, it's not a bad fish. Okay, net. Just switch back to the goby with the spinner blade on. Third cast, maybe. Got clonked mid water. Don't make me never that one over. I'm running wild, though. Hell yeah. First fish of the day then, not a bad one. That weevil sucks nowhere near it, so I put a stinger on it. Yeah, crushed it. Not a giant, but she's uh, strong. Don't go under the boat. There we go, absolutely crushed it. Hooked right down there. Yeah, weedless hook nowhere near. Nice pike, five six pound maybe. Oh, 
up just on the side of a raker. So, just lucky. Yeah, that looks like it's been caught recently as well. The hook mark in there, I don't know if you can see, but I don't think many people fish there, but that's a good fish. First one of the day. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, sweet guys. I know as soon as I got uh, up this end, I'd find some feeding fish. <sighs> on the goby. Can't get enough of this on here. You know, last time I did this video, a lot of people questioned the stinger and the wheelless hook. Um, reason for that is I want that spinner blade and I like the way it's weighted with the wheelless hook, that's all. I don't need the hook for extra hook up or anything like that, it's just for the weight and the spinner blade. But yeah, fish. First fish of the day, five, six pound. Hopefully they get bigger. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get my net set up now though. Now I'm getting up to the area, I'm expecting more fish. that fish was like right out in mid I mean not really mid water because it's like 10 foot wide but yeah it was right in the middle you'd expect some stashing it reeds with how cold it's been but yeah not that one Shut on. try not to get the weediest bit some bubble in there that might be a fish in the corner and looking at fish on the bottom. <laughs> Not the safest thing. Full speed on the towing motor turning in the corner by the way. Yeah, it was a fish. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? Saw that guy bubbling away, cast on him, even though I just nearly hit it with the trolling motor. Nailed it. Not a big one, but let's get another one landed. Oh, pretty much landed. Might pop off. <laughs> Yes, dude. That's hooked pretty good. A lot smaller than that first one I caught. There's a lot this size in here. So I'd imagine this is sort of what the bigger pike target. There we go. One hooked. Second fish today. A little jack. That was cool. Spiding bubble in there. Glad I came back to change uh, sections anyway. That other one was just like way. I mean, this one's like proper narrow and weedy. I really wasn't feeling that other one. Yeah, just chuck this, chuck this there. Jump straight on it. Thought I'd be a better fish bubbling away like that, but I'm happy with that. Nice to get hooked up on just the weedless as well. mad because I <laughs> came past it so quick and probably about two foot from where it hit in the uh, kayak. It didn't spook it at all. Crazy. There we go, that's a better fish as well. Yes, 
just switch to this. Oh, it will come off. Switch to this Western Hypo tease pipe pattern. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, I've looked at it. My next time, oh, no, 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 no. Right, we're off. <laughs> that's a good fish. Go on, baby. Oh, no, that's a. Oh, that might be 20. Oh, that, jump, bro. that might be a 20 pound fish. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Just out of reach. There's a big net I can barely fit it in. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, anchor down, boys. Oh, look at the head. Look at the head. This is it. Don't jump out of the net. I was in a mess. Pipe pattern. Western high protease. This is a big fish, boys. <gasps> I can't even explain how big that fish's head is. It's absolutely massive. This is what we came for. Big pre-spawn female. Head on this fish is giant, ginormous. Not sure how long she is, but that is a, such a good fish. Barely hooked as well, like just in the side of the mouth there. Oh. <laughs> I was speechless, that was so good. It just felt like a big dead weight. Oh, that's a 20, that's all day. All day 20 pound pipe right there. <laughs> that's so good man I hope she's a long un. I mean I'm saying 20 now but she doesn't look that long in that wanted a big pike before the river's closed and here she freaking is that is a stud <laughs> what a fish that's a 20 pound pike all freaking day <laughs> i'm so happy with that big freaking head that's so good let's get a length on her well even close to the body it's huge such a fat pike oh man i'm so happy the uh oh it's not that long 103 103, such a fat fish though. I'm gonna actually sling it just so I can be sure of the weight. Oh, 20, 20.3, 20, 20 pound drain pike. Show her to the camera one last time, we'll get rid of her. Not get rid of her, we'll put her back. That is a happy, happy day. 20 pound river pike. Look at that. Such a thick fish right there. I can't even get it all in. Holding it like this. Insane, insane. 20 pound. River fish, we'll get a put back now. So happy with that. My day has been made. My week has been made. She's a freaking pig. She ready? Come on, girl. Oh, 20 pound. Can you believe that? So happy with that. I've not, I was just lost all my confidence. Not had a fish for like an hour and a half. And then 20 pounds. Yes. I'm speechless. That was so good. Best pike I've caught in such a long time that. Oh, 
103 at 20 pounds, so that just shows you how fat it was. It was so, so thick. Like, barely hooked, so I was so lucky I landed that. I didn't think it was big at all at first, and then I saw its head. Like, if that had another 10 centimeters on it, it could have been 30 that. 103 for 20 pound, that's a big fat fish that. Big fat fish, high potees, Western high. I don't think they even make these anymore. They replace it with the ball tees, but. Insane, <laughs> just cast down there and absolutely crushed it. <sighs> that is so good. 20 pound, biggest fish of this season, biggest fish of last season as well. Biggest fish for about three years, that. It's not that I've had a lot of longer fish, but... Man, that was a big fish. <laughs> Very happy with that. Maybe that's why there's no jacks down here anymore. She's just controlling the water, eating everything, pushing them all out. Well, uh, I've never seen a fish with, I've never seen a pike with a head that big. Like the lead, 103 for 20 pound for a non-trout water. There's no trout in this water. It was that fat. <laughs> I can't believe it. Still speechless. Anchor up. And uh, keep drifting down. That is, I'm not even mad that it's slow fishing now. I've had a big fish. 20 freaking pounds.